Hello, Alex. I am also late. <laughs> I just did it just because you did it, and nothing happened, so... So I just got back from Nashville, like, I got back Saturday, so it's been like three days. I'm not, I don't feel like doing math right now, so, but point is, as you always say, Nashville is great. Uh, I was flying by myself for the first time, which, you know, was a pretty big deal. You know, I've traveled by myself before, I've been on a Greyhound by myself, but never plane, airport, security craziness so it's very interesting to say the least I felt like an adult <laughs> for the first time probably in my life I felt pretty grown up I got there at like three or no wait it was, it was one it was one yeah it was one o'clock <laughs> I got there at like one o'clock so we ate dinner and then we just went downtown and kind of just looked around I drove which I think it yeah I told you about that I drove to uh, a little grocery store with uh, Hannah and her dog, Rambo. So yeah, we just kind of hung out the first day and just were kind of getting acquainted with, I was getting acquainted with Nashville and her house and her neighborhood. So the next day, we got up early to take her mom to work. Her mom works at the Parthenon, which is a huge um, art museum and it's the building replicates the original Parthenon so it's the same size and um, all the details are roughly the same. The museum hadn't opened yet but me and Hannah decided that we wanted to walk through it so we went through everything she was telling me all this cool stuff like there's a huge statue of Athena in the middle of the place and she was telling me about every detail on her like she's got like on a breastplate she's got Medusa's head and Medusa's tongue sticking out because she's dead which I didn't realize I thought that was just kind of like a sign of her being like creepy I don't know <laughs> whatever but it was very interesting to see and then there were um, these huge like two-ton doors like iron doors that you could actually move so I got to move two-ton doors which was great so we went to the Parthenon and that was great and I it was free <laughs> Which is the best part. And then that morning we went to get breakfast and we were just talking about stuff and life and whatnot. And we decided that we wanted to get tattoos because I just carpe diem. I don't know. It was one that I've wanted for a while. It was just the timing was a little weird, but it made sense. You know, I get this tattoo that's supposed to be kind of like a reminder of home, you know, this little cross because there's churches everywhere here. I grew up in the church. I even went to a Christian daycare, which I really don't know how a daycare can be Christian, but just go with it. Um, so it was nice to have kind of like a tattoo for home, and I got it on my first trip that I took by myself. So we got our tattoos, and then that night we decided we wanted to have a campfire. We started gathering wood for the campfire, and then we see that her dog is under their porch, and he's freaking out because there's apparently a possum underneath the porch. Uh, so we don't really think anything about it because, you know, oh, he'll just bark at it and then it'll be, oh, no. No, Rambo decided that he wanted to grab one of the baby possums and kill it. First, we were going to just move it, you know, like we took like a shovel. We were going to pick it up. We were going to move it to, you know, like kind of bury it outside of her yard so that the dog wouldn't try to get it anymore but then we kept thinking that we saw it move because we were freaked out so we asked her mom what she thought we would do or we should do she was like well just whack it with the shovel one time you know just casually just whack it with a shovel just kill it well no <laughs> so she had to whack it with the shovel we heard the skull crack it was terrible I feel so bad for that little baby. We had to, you know, make sure the baby went to heaven. So we picked it up. We finally got it out of the yard. We felt like women for the first time. Like, we just, we were women. We were just amazing. So we uh, had some drinks after that. <laughs> I had some moonshine, and it was fabulous. We uh, had our little campfire, and we just talked about life. And it was great. It was nice to have a night like that just to kind of relax. I've never had a campfire before to like roast marshmallows. I've been to 
like bonfires before, but they were more like, I don't know, they just weren't the same. It was a good trip, all in all. The only thing that would have made it better was if you were there with me. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're getting things done today. I haven't heard from you much. Um, I haven't really texted much either, though, so I can't say anything. But I hope everything's good, and I hope everything is not so stressful. I know you have a video shoot tomorrow. I hope that goes well. And I love you, and I will see you on Friday, hopefully, if you're not late. <laughs> Better late than pregnant, right? <laughs> oh.